Hello everyone. Good morning. Good morning to you. And happy new week to you all. Praise the Lord. How was your weekend? I hope your weekend was great. Praise the Lord. Today is Monday. Hallelujah. Today is Monday, 7th of November 2022. And today's topic is Peace with God. Praise the Lord. Peace with God. So before we start this beautiful morning, let's pray together. Only I will all creation as you God holy is your name. We honor you. We thank you for making our weekend a successful weekend. We thank you for this week you have brought us into. Yes, a, full, a week full of success. We are gathered this morning to study your word because your word works. And your word always produces the result it talks about. As we meditate on your word this morning, thank you for understanding of your word. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Once more, welcome to Rhapsody of Reality. Hallelujah. Today is Monday. Hallelujah. And today's topic is Peace with God. John 14 27 says, Peace I leave with you, my peace I've given unto you, not as the word giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. A man of God continue. I would to God that everyone in the world would understand the magnitude and import of the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Prior to his victorious sacrifice on our behalf, the Bible says we were aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers from the covenant of promise. Having no hope and without God in the world. Ephesians 2 12. We were enemies of God. But well, blessed be God, Romans 5 10 says, He reconciled us to Himself by the death of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Ephesians 2 13 to 18 says, For well, now in Christ Jesus, ye who sometimes we are far off and made nigh by the blood of Christ, for he is our peace, who had made both one and had broken down the middle wall of partition between us, having abolished in his flesh the enmity, even the law of commandment contained in ordinances, for to make himself of twain one new man. Praise the Lord, so make him peace, and that he might reconcile both unto God in one body by the cross, having slain the enmity thereby, praise the Lord, and came and preached peace to which we are far off. I'll take that again, and came and preached peace to you, which we are far off, and to them that were nigh. For through him we both have access by one spirit unto the Father. Hallelujah. 
Jesus paid the price and brought us into peace and union with the Father. No wonder Paul declares in Romans 5 1. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. The word peace is from the Greek hyrene. It describes an end to hostility. It means to be set at one. Through Jesus Christ, you have been set at one with God. You have come home in Him. There is no need to live in fear of judgment. Jesus has already taken the punishment for your sin. Isaiah 53 verse 5 says, The chastisement of our peace will support him. Hallelujah, praise to the Lord. This is what we enjoy at Born Again Christian. And the reason why Pastor keep repeating these things to us is that it's very important that you know these things. Praise to the Lord. Because sometimes some people, they are suffering today for their past mistake, their past, they are holding on to their past, they feel that for, for whatever reason, whatever they are going through is because of their past, because of the mistake they make in the past, or because maybe through that mistake, maybe someone swear or someone says something about them and they hold on to it. No, that is why pastor keep repeating this to us. You are at peace with God. If you have given your life to Christ and you have asked God for forgiveness for what you have done in the past, that is it. He does not see those flaws. And that is why He commands us to love. Because when you love, genuine love, you don't see any flaws. That is how God sees us. He loves us so much that He does not see that you are dirty. He does not see your sin. Praise the Lord. So do not do it. Because that is what Satan is using to keep you in bondage. You are free from sin. Jesus Christ, that is what he did when he died on the cross of Calvary, bringing you to oneness with God. Praise the Lord. You will sin free. Praise the Lord. Who can cause what the Lord has blessed? Those things does not, it's not affecting your life. Those past, God does not see it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So with that being said, let's take the prayer confessions together. Dear Father, I thank you for the message of reconciliation that has been committed to my trust. Through me, many in my world and the region beyond are coming to the knowledge of God and into their inheritance in Christ. They are coming into the life of peace and you know with you, free from condemnation, in Jesus' name. Amen. For that study, you can look at John 16, 43, Ephesians 2, 14 to 18. One your Bible with the plan, Hebrews 7, and Jeremiah 50 to 51. Two your Bible with the plan, 1 Peter 4, verse 1 to 19, and Ezekiel 38. So, until we leave your time. Please go through the scriptures and you will indeed blessed in the name of Jesus. I trust we have been blessed by today's devotion. And I want to use this opportunity. If you're here, you've not given your life to Christ, this is an opportunity for you to do so. All you have to do is repeat the prayer of salvation with me this morning. Oh Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe He died for me and God raised Him from the dead. I believe it's alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through him and in his name, I have a everlasting life. I am born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I am my a child of God. Hallelujah. And if you repeat this prayer with me, congratulations to you. Yeah. You are now a child of God. Hallelujah. All you have to do now is read your Bible. Get to know who God is, who Jesus is, and who the Holy Spirit is to you. And bombard yourself with faith filled messages such like this. And look for a believing church and worship there. Hallelujah. What a great time we had this morning. 
have you subscribed to my channel if you have not done so please do so so every time i upload a video you'll be first to notify and also comment so that i can leave a shout out to you as well thank you so much and on facebook please follow me at flora cooking china may god bless you all in the mighty name of jesus so before we go this beautiful morning let's pray together father we thank you lord we thank you for this word that we have had this morning thank you father we are strengthened thank you for your love towards us that can never be touched Lord. thank you for this week Lord. yes we know that you have made every crooked way straight in this week thank you for your sufficiency in this week thank you for our daily bread in this week Lord. yes father we thank you for your protection this week for in jesus mighty name we pray amen Thank you all. You have a great day. I'll see you same time tomorrow by the grace of God. God bless you. Bye.